Today, I will present for you my uh, vintage uh, original, almost original. It's an Hofner, very thin, very thin indeed. And um, it's been hanging on my wall for decoration for more than 20 years. I bought it off, uh, some guy had a lot of uh, old vintage guitars in parts and stuff uh, at his attic and I, I saw this beauty and I just, I got a good deal on it and I just bought it. But uh, it has been a challenge, um, it's not really playable as it is. It, well it is, but uh, there are some challenges that I will uh, walk you through in a minute. and. Um, Maybe you can help me with some things if you know about these guitars. If we start with the most obvious, uh, the pickup covers. I think these are not originals. These are of uh, wood and seems to be just homemade more or less. And I suspect that a previous owner have tried to put the humbuckers in here and then regretted it and, and put the original pickups back in place. There has been made bigger uh, roothings for humbuckers in here. So I'm curious to find out. The next thing I think is not original is this bridge. And it's a very uh, lousy one because uh, I suspect that has also been replaced to add a bridge that has uh, intonation possibilities. Because I think the original just was a piece of wood. I'll put up a picture here so you can see what I mean. Um, that old uh, vintage style uh, bridges. Uh, but uh, so th this bridge is, uh, well, it looks okay in, in a way if, when you look at it because it, it has these intonation screws and, and um, looks rather okay. But uh, the grooves for, for that is in the saddles. They've, they are so um, rounded off that the, the string jumps off. If I'm playing a bit uh, aggressive, they will, the strings will just pop out of the groove very easily. So that's one of the reasons that I haven't been playing this guitar much. And uh, I'm also not sure about this uh, pickup selector here. It also doesn't work in the middle position. Uh, and uh, from pictures that I've seen of similar models, uh, it looks that they didn't have a pickup selector. So I wonder if this also is not original and been put in there at a later stage. But it looks old. It looks to be kind of from that period though. But I can't be sure. But I would like to um, make this guitar more usable, for I've played it a bit now and uh, it's quite cool. The sound from it is good and also the, um, quite fascinated about the fretboard. And that is also quite intact and the frets are in good shape. Might be an indication that uh, the guitar is not that good. <laughs> and, um, people that have owned it before me uh, didn't find any interest in playing it. But it could be down to this problem, of course, and um, you never know what the reasons could be. And the radius of the fretboard is, uh, is really round. It's a 7.25, really. I just measured it. Uh, I have these um, things here to press down frets with, and, and this one fit it right in, and it's um, 7.25. And I was a bit surprised how good I felt. I, I can't remember having played much uh, fretboards that have been that rounded. I've seen several that has a Bixby mounted and that is probably not original. But this one looks to be the, the one that it came with. And it's a large spring here. <laughs> quite, uh, quite fun thing. And it stays in tune. You know, I, I said that this one has been on my wall for uh, more than 20 years and uh, I take it down from time to time just to play it a little. And um, But now it's months since I did that last time. I took it down from the wall now to uh, make this video and it uh, was in tune. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's something for you now. Uh, it's hanging in my uh, living room. Uh, it's quite a nice guitar to have on the wall. Um, so uh, it's quite decorative. Even my wife thinks it's a cool thing to have in the living room, so... <laughs> yeah, and uh, the tuners, 
they look to be original. I can't tell for sure, but uh, there's no marks uh, on here that says that they have been replaced. I can't see screw holes uh, or something like that. I think they are the originals and uh, they work fine. Yeah, what more? For maybe find out why this uh, switch isn't working in the middle position. Uh, yeah, so I would love to have the original pickup covers, of course, but uh, if it's rooted for the larger pickups um, under here, I can't really do that. So maybe I'll just keep it as it is. It's kind of cool with these. Uh, it's probably done a long time ago, so it's had this vintage look already, this uh, wood. But I believe that this is a kind of a 60s model from what I've seen on pictures uh, online. I'll have to do a bit more research, but uh, maybe you can tell me if you know if, what kind of uh, model this is or where I could find the serial number. I think that it's in the pickup cavities or if I'm able to have a look inside the F holes in some way. Yeah. You want to listen to it? All right, suspected that. Let's have a go. So now it's in the middle positions, no sound. This must be the neck. I have a small dose of overdrive. It's the Sweet Honey overdrive. I can turn it off. So it's just the amp now. And the uh, bridge pickup. The pots, uh, they work a bit uh, random, so if I turn them all the way up... Oh, that's the wrong one. No, <laughs> no one. I can say they are a bit random, but no, they don't work at all. <laughs> oh. oh. I suspected that was the tone, but that seems to be the volume now. Strange. Doing nothing. Oh, that one influenced also on, so there's something uh, odd going on. Sounds like there's some kind of face uh, going on that when you turn the pot. Now that one worked for for the neck. All right. Yeah, so there's uh, definitely something uh, going on with the uh, electronics here. I need to look into that to, to have it work in a more normal way. But it's quite kind of interesting. With the overdrive. It has that it just uh, the top of the breakup is so nice. You can make a little loop.
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quite interesting when <laughs> the string dropped off there, but that's what happens. So uh, maybe I'm able to find the Gibson thing that could fit in there, or uh, have to see. It would of course be good to have the original, but uh, I'm, I'm not so very uh, concerned about this being all original. I think it's so cool that I would like to have make it a, a guitar that I could play, because it sounds so cool just hanging there on my wall uh, for years and uh, I haven't been aware of what kind of jam this really is. So I need to get this to be in uh, playing condition. The pickup sounds amazing. And uh, yeah, really get it to work. So if you can help me with finding out things about the age, the model, uh, what I can maybe do with this pickup things, if, if there's possible uh, that these are original, or uh, the covers, I mean, and uh, or uh, I'll of course screw it up open and I'll take you in on the journey if you'd like to follow this because it's a cool guitar and it should be interesting. I also see that the uh, truss rod cover is missing here, uh, well, at least there is a truss rod, so <laughs> and it's adjustable from that end, so that's good. So let me know if you have any questions about this guitar and I'll try and answer them as good as I can. But uh, yeah, maybe it's more that I need more of your help now with this. Uh, where can I find the, the serial number, at least? And uh, if you know anything about if I can find a replacement bridge somewhere. Uh, I'll of course check if the posts here will fit with the regular Gibson style uh, bridge. I hope it will. Then that will be solved, I guess. Um, but I... Yeah, I will be very lucky if that's so. All right, so to be continued, bye for now.